All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have Manix86 now doing a uh, run of Mega Man 1 through 5. It's going to be an amazing run. I wish you the best of luck, buddy, and give us that countdown when you're ready. Thank you, Sham, and uh, thank you, Colt, for restreaming overnight, and thanks for everybody hanging out and making this event awesome. For those of you who are joining us, uh, I run these games primarily, uh, so I'm going to be running 1 through 5, the Game Boy series. It's going to take about 3 hours, so make sure you have some snacks. I'm going to be taking care of this stream until Stryzer wakes up. And uh, speaking of him waking up, make sure he wakes up to a broken donation tracker. Alright, so the first game is Rockman World. We play the Japanese versions except for two, which we play the European version. So timer is going to start as soon as I hit game start. So I'll, uh, on go cult in five, four, three, two, one. Go. Our first stage is Cutman and it's one of the most difficult stages. So this is typically like Mega Man 1. Uh, we're not going to be able to slide or charge or anything like that, so it's very bare bones Mega Man. Just going to get past these turrets. So this is actually one of my favorite ones, and it's the first one that I've learned. And uh, the world record is 1751 by ND Sui, somebody very familiar in the Mega Man community. Health is a very... Uh, this stage is a very challenging stage for health, so I got hit there, that's not good. And the reason we do cut first is it doesn't have much weapon optimization, but also the cut weapon that you receive obliterates pretty much anything. I'm going to dodge these enemies with precise jumps, I'm going to jump intentionally into the big eye so I can get by him just a little faster. We use the treadmills to walk faster as much as we can, take this debuse and we're headed to the boss. So Cutman can jump or throw cutters. Uh, it's pretty RNG so we'll see what kind of fight we get. That was a great fight. Alright, so not dying in this stage is actually the goal. <laughs> so now that we have the cut weapon, we're going to head to Alec, everybody's favorite Mega Man 1 boss. So you'll see the songs in this game are very reminiscent to the NES version, except for the later stages. We're going to switch to cut right away, and I'm going to do a very precise move in here. I'm going to try to beat a cycle of a... Uh, an elect beam that you'll see right here. Here we go. Okay, I didn't beat the beam, but I made it on the platform, which is the second best scenario, so I'm happy with that. That's a two frame window to land it from the start of the screen, so I'm nothing wrong with missing that. So, a lot of this I'm going to use jump buffers just to avoid the beams and uh, when the Yoku blocks will appear which are a lot more flat than what you may be used to. Okay, we got the little half jump there. If you jump too much, you hit the Susie and you fall. So that's good so far. We got the famous clouds from Airman, but I guess they're in elect this time. I'm gonna intentionally jump off the cloud to make the next one spawn a little bit earlier as they start turning, which means I'll get to the right side a little bit faster. And here we have a specific room, very precise. Looks good. Just before that platform disappears, I can make the cycle. This is really good so far. Here we got some fans that are gonna push us. Nothing too hard, we're just gonna wait here. gonna take this room a little easy. There's a task strat that I haven't been able to get once in a run that I'm not gonna go for. It's a big time loss if I miss it. 
Just gonna wait for some beams and Susies here and make our way to Alakman. Alakman is very similar to the NES version where we're gonna just kill him with two cutters. He's gonna hit us, but that's alright. We don't care. We got plenty of health. So you'll notice sometimes I jump in holes, uh, so you save a little bit of time by corner jumping, which is basically instead of walking off a corner, we're going to do a slight jump right in the corner to fall down a little bit faster. Alright, and we're going to go through Cutlass and Electless damage, which is big reset points in the game, so I'm extremely happy about this so far. Ever see the inside of a robot's body? I have not. Iceman is considered probably the easiest stage, but it does have a really difficult trick at the end, which I'll be going for, so we'll see how that goes. If I miss it, it's a minute and a half time loss. Oops. Messed up a little bit here. We're gonna have to fix this. Here we go. Oh. No biggie. We're gonna switch to cut near. We're gonna see how powerful this is, even more than we did in the last screen. So I'm basically gonna one shot everything. So the cutter hits for. Oops! <laughs> Don't short your jumps too much. You'll die. Alright, here we go. We're just gonna go through a series of precise movement here. So one thing about the drops, you'll notice sometimes I pause. Whenever you get a drop, a refill of some kind, uh, it sometimes halts your movement and you can fall in pits and stuff like that. So if you see me pause in front of a spike pit or something from an enemy drop, that's exactly why. Okay, so coming up is the hard jump. We're gonna de-boost through a sniper jump. We're only gonna have a few pixels to stand on. Oh. Okay, we got it. Alright. So I would have started all the way at where I died first if had I missed that. So we're in good shape. So Iceman is only going to take three elect shots. I'm going to intentionally get close to him so the beams come out of screen. I can only shoot one elect beam at a time. On screen, so I'm gonna make sure that I'm to the right at most so that the horizontal one leaves the screen. Why are his eyes different? Oh, well, just because it's cool. Wouldn't you like two different eyes, like T1000 and Terminator and shit? Fireman, this is the f by far the most difficult stage uh, of the first four Robos. So, I got hit there, I'm already unhappy about this, so there, it's... Um, one thing about Game Boy Mega Man is scrolling. So, if I throw something on screen and I keep walking, the game scrolls as stuff appears on screen. So I'm gonna throw these, like, beams at very specific points, which I look at the floor. And I'm gonna keep scrolling the screen so that it one-shots the enemy like that. So I want to make sure that I scroll while the enemy's on screen so that the beam constantly stays on them for maximum damage. A really cool strat for Game Boy. So here we go. I'm going to take a bullet here. Just take one damage instead of three. Now here's another really cool screen. I'll let you guys watch. It's just a series of precise beams without stopping. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to have to stop for this one. No big deal. It's the hardest one. And we'll keep going. That was a really good screen. We didn't get any troll drops or anything. Just gonna jump over these fires and this time they're gonna come from my back so I'm gonna do one wiggle jump. And again, these are all calculated so you see how I intentionally waited to the right there so that my beam does maximum damage. And I'll do the same thing here. That refill not needed, that's like half a second loss. I'm gonna intentionally wait there just so I can shoot another one in time to kill him, and just like that we're at Fireman. 
So the cool thing about Fireman is uh, if you keep a moderate distance from him, he's never going to shoot. But we're going to go for a quick kill here. Okay, so he did hit me. I was supposed to go over the flame, but otherwise that was a good shot. And just like that, we're going to the Wily stages. So one thing about the Game Boy series is you have four Robos of the current edition and you have four Robos of the next edition. So we're going to see some NES Mega Man 2 bosses coming up in the refights. And one cool thing about this cutscene is you can't skip it, but if you mash your buttons after the end of the tune, which is coming up here, Mega Man will teleport out like five seconds quicker than if you press nothing. So a time save and a cutscene, hell yeah. So this is my favorite song, so I'm just gonna let you guys listen to it and I'm gonna use the carry, which is like the magnet beam equivalent. Just gonna hold left here. It looks scary, it's a big blind spot, but all you have to do is hold left and hug this wall and you're through. I'm gonna do a very precise jump to kill this Joe in one shot. Good job. I'm gonna switch to Buster here for safety. Normally you keep going with the cutter, but it's extremely dangerous to get a drop there with all the spikes. I'm going to take the health here because we're going to need to do task moles that we call, which involves de-boosting into a mole section that's coming up very soon to basically save about 30 seconds or more. We're basically just going to de-boost a couple times through everything. So the thing about Game Boy is you can only have four moles on screen at a time, so we're going to abuse that with these specific movements. Here we go. Good. One more hit right here. Bam, just like that. So it's extremely painful to get through that if you don't get that. This run is going very well, by the way. Just one menu that I would like to have back. No big deal. So we're gonna go to cut uh, Quick Man first. He doesn't have weakness per se, but the fire shield, because it spins around you, we're basically gonna be able to constantly stay against him and kind of just follow his pattern. Now his patterns are very random, so we just want to make sure that if we do get hit, that we get hit by the, uh, by the cut, uh, the quick boomerangs. Okay. There we go. It's too soon to talk about that. Good morning, Goomba. Lots of Canadians in chat. Always good. So now we're going to switch to Ice, which is Flashman's weapon. I'm going to do a series of attacks here and I'll intentionally deboost into him just as he's about to flash. Oh, I didn't get it. I actually jumped over him. That's not good. We should be able to kill him before he flashes. There we go. Now we're going to get... That was quick, man. That was barely reasonable, nimble, man. <laughs> it is Game Boy Reminder. I find this game does a pretty good job of uh, running very well. We'll see later, you'll see that as the series advances, they're introduced Game Boy lag issues, but for the most part I thought this one ran really well. Like this is the laggiest screen because of the water effect. So we want to shoot as many quick boomerangs into him, but not spam them because each of them causes a little bit of lag. And shouts to Tremaine for telling me, uh, because he has tested this game, that when you hold left on the wall during the victory fanfare, you save some frames. Really odd trick. Alright, so we're gonna switch to Bubble. This is Heat. He can do 30, 60, 90, exactly like the NES. He's already being a meme. The cool thing is we can hit him twice per cycle. Oh, I missed one. So he gave us a three cycle, but that's totally my fault. And now we we're going to introduce the first Mega Man killer, so there's special robots made to kill Mega Man. This one's called Anchor, and we'll see him a little bit later in Mega Man 4. But 
For now, we fight him for the first time. He's got a sword, and every time we hit him, he charges. I'm going to try to hit him four times per cycle. At least five is great. So as you see, I am not mashing. I am timing my shots. So there's very little use of mashing uh, in Game Boy Mega Man, but uh, we will see one instance of it where moderate to fast mashing is good right now. So earlier we killed the Joe one shot with a cutter, this time we're going to kill him with... We're going to intentionally jump so that he jumps as well and we're kind of just going to shoot him while he jumps. See that right here at the start. There we go, that's a good fight. So you don't want to spend too much time killing him. So ammo for carry is extremely calculated in this stage. We're going to use it all the way and we'll have just about none at the end. Gonna switch to fire here just to buffer some shots to kill these ground enemies. Toothpaste. We're gonna switch right back to carry here. Intentionally walk off here and do a small jump over the fan. And here we go for some Yoku's, your favorite. And lots of them. Going for a fast jump there, very good. We're gonna switch to bubble here and kill the bird just to reduce lag. Now these big eyes are weak to bubble for some reason. Two bubbles is enough to kill a big eye. I mean two two bubbles in my eyes and I'm in I'm crying for mom. Mom, get the soap out of my eyes. I get it. Alright, we got another slower Yoku section here, and this one is a little bit more precise because I have some that I could die, like right here. Because they're directly above my head. I'm just gonna be quiet for a few of these. So coming up is a really cool screen. We're going to intentionally dodge right underneath this bullet. There we go. And this screen looks packed with stuff, but all we do is practically only walk right. Alright, so here comes the task climb. We're going to try to use as much as carry as possible to climb these very tedious ladder sections. Skip as much ladders, because nobody likes ladders. We're going to intentionally just fall through this and damage boost. We'll intentionally walk, look right there so that the bird goes to the right. And here as well, we're going to hold... Oh! Little mistake, not a big one. Okay, we're going to switch to the cutter here. Had I not take that, I would have damage boosted through him, but uh, I want at least 5 HP for the boss, and we're almost done game 1 already, and I don't want to take a damage below 5 health, uh, otherwise it complicates the last boss a little bit. So we just have these little cannons to go through and toothpaste. So I'm hoping for no drop here, just because I don't need them and this will just slow me down. Good game. Alright, these triple cutters are gonna get out of my way, and then we're on the final boss. The first phase we're gonna kill with heat. Thanks for the good luck, nice guy. And uh, the last phase we'll use anchor shield, which is just like a rebound. Intentionally gonna take this hit so I can stay in his hitbox. Good. I miss menu there. I was supposed to change while the capsule exploded, reduce lag. I did not do that. So we're just gonna keep this shield. He's gonna have this claw coming after me, but we're gonna manipulate movement 
exactly where we want it to go because it goes to where I am. So all I want to do is bounce this laser onto it. One more. Oops, missed it. No big deal. Alright, that's the first game. Just like that, we're going to Mega Man 2, everybody's favorite. I don't know what the time is that either a high 18 or a low 19. I'm really happy regardless. Alright, so this is Mega Man 2. As you can see, it's going to look extremely different. We do introduce sliding. And we do introduce a third party sound chip that uh, is ear raking, so I apologize in advance for this game for that. But the good thing about this game is it's extremely fun, it's the easiest one, uh, so it's a great speedrun. If you're thinking about trying any of these, this is actually the best one to start with. Unique, but uh, very fun to run, very fast pace. Oh, we got hit by that, that's not good. I'm gonna take this a little slower than I'd want to. Okay, that health is going to help me get through this. So the jumps are a little weird, the physics are definitely weird, but uh, the gameplay is actually fun. Picking up health stuff doesn't actually stop your pace, so it's actually quite comforting. The ladders are very annoying. If you hold a diagonal, you can't climb the ladder, so just holding up will grab the ladder. I'm just going to get through these pure robots here and then we'll have the Metal Man stage fight. So the cool thing about Metal Man is we start with Metal Man not only because the Metal Blade is OP, because it always is, but uh, there's a specific glitch that we're going to trick him into getting into the wall because uh, Metal Man doesn't as understand the limits of his own stage. So we're going to just, here we go. It's pretty funny if you see it the first time too. So here we go. Hold left here, and he's stuck in the wall. And we're just gonna kill him. Now the funny thing is, is this is the alternate setup. So the the usual setup, he gets stuck on the left, but he got stuck on the right, and that's perfectly fine for me. I just had to jump to shoot him instead of standing down. Just like that, we're out of metal. I do love this screen. If you guys have been to my stream, I've had that picture as well. Um, yeah, it's one of my favorites. I love Rush. Face Palm. So menuing is extremely fast in this game, and for marathon purposes, you'll see that I take my time to pick a robot. I just don't want to make a mistake and pick the wrong one. Okay, so we're gonna do a cool strat here that I... I'm the only one who does it, because it's slower than the other ones. And people don't like going slow. So we're gonna intentionally de-boost through these bunnies. And why? Because there's a section after this that's a little harder, but you need a lot of help to do it. But... Uh, I don't care about that, because I care about you guys. So we're gonna call your favorite 1-800-MAKE-THE-CALL RUSH MARINE. Let's go. <laughs> also, you'll notice the soundtracks are completely different from what you're known for. So this game was actually outsourced by Capcom, which is why it looks very different. And uh, a lot of people didn't like it. There was initial critique, but for a speedrun, it's actually a lot of fun. And the lag manage like pros. Like, have you guys even noticed this is Game Boy? This game is smooth like butter. Where's KLM? Yeah, KL KLM has played this game, by the way, and he, I don't know, he probably used Rush Marine at some point. So here we're gonna try to squeeze some blades into the shield. Oh, didn't like me doing it at all. I agree, Vander. There's a lot of cool enemies in this game, but this bunny ain't one. Alright, so now we got the wood shield, which is also happens to be Air's weakness, so we are going to go to Air. And one of the reasons we play the European version is because the Air stage does include um, 
The tiki patterns in the start are actually different on the European version, so they're gonna be favorable to my patterns. Also, shoutouts to KLM, I see you. Go, so we're just gonna intentionally de-boost through all of these, because we don't want to wait. So this stage is probably the easiest one, but there's one pretty difficult section right here. There's a series of fan enemies and birds, and we want to try to uh, get through this relatively unscathed. Okay, I got hit there, no big deal. So I'm hoping for a small refill here from one of these. Otherwise, I'll have to switch weapons. Okay, we're gonna have to switch weapons, which is not a big time loss. Menu is pretty fast in this game. There we go. I'm gonna switch back to wood shield just because we need two for the boss. So we'll do one double hit and one single hit. So one thing I also didn't mention is a lot of Mega Man games you can jump out of your slides, but in this game you cannot. So sometimes you'll see me like I would have should have been able to slide and I just walk. It's because uh, I would otherwise not be able to cancel my slide and go right into a pit. So this game was very unique for that. So we're going to intentionally get that in. There we go. I want to try to finish to the middle as well, otherwise Mega Man walks really slow to the Yeah, and uh, I actually like this crash music coming up, Biddy, but I cannot say it's better than the NES one. I think the NES Crash is one of the b better songs of the earlier games, but uh, definitely not the case in this one. Since there was only one robot there, I was able to spam myself in. And it is Clash Man, so as you see, it's the European version, so it's Clash with an L, not with an R. Now we choose everybody's worst and best friend, Rush. So we're going to use him as a stepping stone, but he's kind of weird in this game. He does control well for some reasons, but sometimes you just jump on him and like you try to move forward and he doesn't. He's a little bit glitchy, so sometimes I'll intentionally take my time before I jump on him. If you jump on the same frame that he appears, he's just going to stand there and be like, I don't know what to do. I'm going to grab this health because Crash Man is a difficult boss and we want as much health as possible when we get there. And we're gonna grab these E-Tanks. So there's two E-Tanks in this stage that are really fast to grab. They're practically in the speedrun route. You just lose like three seconds to get them, so they're totally worth it. There's a weird block here. So the game, there's a tile in that ladder that thinks it's a stepping tile. So I had to like jerk Mega Man around there to get out. All right. We're gonna use Jet here. So the, the point of rush here is to avoid like Climbing really slowly. Okay, that was slow. Speaking of slowly, I do a really cool D boost here so that I can get into the door really fast. Alright, so this is the only boss in the game that actually only has a secondary weakness. So he's only gonna do two damage. So I'm gonna shoot him once with the rush here, and I'll have exact ammo to kill him. This is a difficult fight. Let's go. Alright, that was a really good fight, and I finished in the middle, and I didn't die. All good things. Alright, so the first four went pretty well. A couple of minor mistakes, but nothing, uh... Nothing to stress about. Didn't die equals success. I agree, Colt. And that's gonna be forever true up to this point in the run. I mean, it's true for any run. Who likes to die in the games unless it's intentional? So, I want you guys to spot what's wrong with this cutscene. There's one thing that is wrong about this cutscene, I want you guys to figure it out. If you guessed that Wily's eyebrows did not shake, you are correct. That's what's wrong. I'm just gonna take that safely. It's a pretty annoying screen. So there's a really cool segment here 
Oops, took a hit I didn't want to there, but that's all right, we'll manage. Not like I have a choice, you guys told me I can't reset. So a lot of deboosting here, something I didn't talk about yet is if you deboost, as soon as you get into a slide, you kind of just barrel through it, it doesn't even knock you back. I did one there just on the last bit. So one thing, if you're familiar to Mega Man 3, the rush ammo only gets used if you're standing on rush. So we're intentionally jumping on this long ride here to reduce usage as much as possible. Here we go. I'm gonna switch back to metal here because it is Magnet Man's weakness. I am low on health here, so I'm gonna intentionally kill this guy. I'm gonna wait for this and just slide underneath it. I'm gonna let you guys uh, enjoy this kill, so I'm gonna basically follow Metal Man around to quick kill him and shoot some shots in all kinds of directions. Really cool fight. There we go. So it's possible to kill him just before he jumps up, but that setup is pretty consistent and pretty fast. I think I'm going left. Yeah, that could have been an issue, Tubes. It's not for me. You go left sometimes. Alright, so next stage is Hard Man. So as you notice, these are Mega Man 3 boss. This stage is probably, not probably, it is the easiest stage of the game. So it's going to use Rush a lot to get through stuff quicker. We're going to race the bees here. Nobody likes bees. Um... We're just kind of going to damage boost through everything. Um, it's the shortest stage and probably the easiest as well, so it's kind of like the breather stage. But uh, if you make too many mistakes, then you might have too much low health and you could die at the boss. But uh, overall, these are just specific sets of slides. I'm going to deboost intentionally here to get on to rush. And we're going to do the same thing right here. We're gonna get hit anyway, so we might as well cast Rush and jump higher. Who cares about Metal Daddies? Pickle Mandatas? We're gonna switch to Magnet Weapon here. So, Harman takes five Magnets. The only time of the run you'll see the Magnet, so enjoy it while it lasts. Okay, so we got hit twice there. This is considered not a great fight, but I mean it's a short fight, so... Making the straw gun killers in the castle and the weaker ones in the world. I got you now, Ali. I'll defeat you with the abilities I took from your robots. Bye, message man, football man, and pleasant singing man. I'm confused. Anyway, moving on, we're going to top man, and top man is time to break the stage, so uh... Hard Knuckle actually allows us to zip through stuff if you shoot it at a certain point, so we're going to see this in a second. Really cool stuff, but first, we got to make another call. Thank you. Thank you very much. Always a success. I switched to Hard right here. So if I shoot Knuckle on the last frame of transition, it's going to do some weird stuff. Here we go. Oh, I missed the first one. No worries, it still made some weird stuff. Look at that cat, it's all broken. Alright, you guys will get to see it because there's some free ones coming up, so if you're standing on the ladder, you can just shoot it from the ladder, which makes it super easy. Here we go. There we go. So now I'm actually one screen below what you're actually seeing, which is really broken. But I'm going to do another one and skip all of this. And just like that, we're down below. I'm just going to use some timely leaf shields here to get rid of these. That first jump is a little tricky. It's actually quite precise. I've died more times than I care to. So I'm going to see if I uh, live up to my Mega Man friends here in one cycle top. Because if I don't, the run is invalid. Yes! The community still accepts me. <laughs> Ooh. 
So we keep a little bit of top here. As we, uh, uh not a hard knuckle, part of me. Is we're gonna need that in this following stage. I'm glad I, uh, Chubes, Chubes, uh, he's hard on me sometimes. It's like a coach. So he's like, you better get it. gonna kill this stuff here. There's a really cool upward zip here that I'm not good at, so we're just gonna do the non-cool stuff, because I'm not cool. Sorry guys. Potentially debus that spike so I can get through the cannon. We're gonna switch to rush jet. And we're just gonna who cares about all these cannons? We're just gonna go. Let's go. Alright. So we're gonna intentionally jump here because we'll need as much rush jet ammo as possible. All right, we're gonna do another cool zip here, which was found by Elpis. Shout out to Elpis, who has uh, really helped out this game majorly. So we're gonna cast one right here, and all these needle sections still happens, but um, the good part about this one is right here, you get a guaranteed refill, which is really important for this run. I need to refill, speaking of which. Needle man is annoying, so we're just gonna make sure to heal up. And I always forget what the menu is at that point. So that's why I spent like so much menu time. You guys saw the whole menu. All right, so we're gonna intentionally jump into him and do some full spins and do it with me, guys. So, wee, wee, short-lived in this game. Just like that, we're out of needle. Now we're gonna fight Quinn. And for those of you who like the lore, Quint is actually Mega Man from the future in the lore. And in the future, we don't fight with a Buster, we fight with a Pogo. It's like, look, you're on PV pace. <laughs> All right, we're already at the final Wally stage, guys. And we're gonna try to do uh, three really hard zips here. If I do it, we're gonna save a whole ton of time and it's gonna look cool as hell. I'm gonna be quiet for this section. First, we're gonna get swallowed by something because that's totally the way to go. And shoutouts to Salvador Dali and the Melting Colox. Dr. Wily has taste. Alright, here we go. Got one. Okay, let's keep going. Here we go. Okay, we got two out of three. So there's a huge up and down section right there that takes forever. And now everything's completely broken as you can see. We got two out of three, I'm really happy about that. It was the one trick in this game that I was worried about. I try to do something really cool here where I shoot Jet while I jump so I can actually hop on him. That did not work. I should never call my tricks. I only get them when I don't call them. I only have one E-Tank here because I messed up in Needles, so I'm going to wait for these big Chain Chompers. If I had both E-Tanks, I might just barrel through these. We just have one Cloud section. And uh, just like that, we're done. And we get a Life, so Life Drops are actually pretty rare in this game, so the fact that I got that makes the run even more special. I kind of would have wanted that health if I had predicted myself for it, but I didn't. Who cares about Toothpaste? What's up, Starvin? Starvin also runs this game. Shouts to Starvin Struthers. This game is actually the most ran Game Boy game by far. And I can understand. It's really friendly. There was a tournament, there was a whole bunch of people who participated. It was a lot of fun. We're just gonna hop on Jet here. And uh, you guys asked for Mega Man of the Future. You are gonna get Mega Man of the Future. 
We are going to use the Sakugarni for this phase. Oops. Okay, that was a little messed up on my part, but we're okay. We're a little bit lower health than I wanted to because I jumped on too early, but we should be alright. So this is the final phase of Wily. Dr. T-Rex. I have to be careful here. I'm going to try to land these double shots by spacing them out just a little bit. Alright. Let's make him in too. Probably a low 20, something like that. And just like that, we're going to Mega Man 3. The, arguably the hardest. I don't know why my start button didn't work in my split. Alright, whatever. The gold segment? Please tell me it's lower than 1959, because 1959 is my PB, so if it's 1958, I PB'd. Alright, here we go. So we keep sliding, now we got charges. We got the really cool graphics, we got the... It's like the Super Nintendo, but it's not the Super Nintendo, it's still the Game Boy. Gonna avoid these bombs because they do a whole ton of damage. So we introduce really cool graphics, but with really cool graphics comes really cool lag. Really? Is was it that good? I'll have to look. Dang. Just gonna kill these parasues because nobody likes the parasues. Really cool segment here. And intentionally avoid these dragonflies because they do a whole ton of damage. Now I have... I took a little bit more damage than I wanted to so I'm gonna kill this Pickleman Data. Yes I did say Pickleman Data, that sounds funny but that's the real name. Do not. 2006? Sweet. I'm real happy with the outer, thank you. I do have my splits in front of me, I'm just not looking at them. So this is Shadow Man, same thing as the NES, he can either slide or do like little shurikens, which we want him to slide, so he's being a bro right now. And we also want to finish in the middle. Awesome. So out of the five games, this is the considered the hardest one. Um, Andy Sui has two deaths in his PB, that's how hard it is, and he doesn't accept deaths in his PBs. But uh, yeah, this game is pretty brutal. Like the first three stages are necessarily a breeze. What's up, Square One? Also runs this game or has ran it. Understands the pain that I'm going through. All right, Spark Stage. So we're gonna do a specific series of D boost here. To who cares about these beams? We're just gonna go. And here we start introducing the Shadow Blade, which is extremely powerful in this game as well. Shoots in omni directions, does two damage. You have a lot of ammo. Really useful weapon. And we got a refill there, which is good, so we will be okay on that. Now if we get a small health refill, we'll be perfect. And there we go, Gift of God. To throw them in an angle to kill this guy here. And one thing I didn't mention is when you slide, it actually reduces lag. I think it's because Mega Man's walking animation stops. That's my theory. But you can see here, as soon as I slide, like the lag disappears for a second. Now here's a really cool section. There's a whole bunch of bombs and spikes and evil things, but uh, we'll just uh, sit on this bomb, do a specific transition, and just fall to glory. Gonna skip some of these blocks because we don't care. Really cool trick here, just step on that. Alright, so this stage is going pretty good. Intentionally get close there so that the hammer part hits me and turns me around for a small D boost. 
Oh, almost touched the spike there. And just like that, we're on Sparkman. Yeah, this music is actually really close to the NES. It's The music in this game is actually really enjoyable. Like 3, 4, and 5 has really enjoyable music. And we got the perfect kill, so we want him to jump at least up to that point. And we also want to finish the stage on that little pillar. This is considered the center. Alright. And I think Snake Man is... Snake Man is uh, a lot of people's favorite songs of Mega Man 3. What's your favorite Mega Man 3 songs, guys? Because we only got two left. We only have Snake Man and Gemini left. As I remind people, we're gonna have Mega Man 4 robots after this. I'm gonna switch to Spark here, because again, it's just OP and I can't live without it. Shadow Blade is my life, you bet. I'm gonna jump around and shoot it everywhere and kill all these snakes because really I don't care if they are alive because snakes are dead and uh, they're just robots. I don't even know where I was going with that. Almost died from a drop there. <laughs> so drops are also notorious to kill people in this game. Giant anacondas, nobody cares. This screen looks really intimidating, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on, but it's just sliding. Just slide. Eddie, give me a refill. Not that refill. Come on, Eddie. But I do like the refill for safety there, because there's some difficult stuff coming up. I'm gonna switch to Buster here. And we're gonna have another fancy section with jumpies. Coming up is one of the harder screens and more scary screens, so we're gonna... You guys surely remember this sky screen of sneaks, and there's gonna be another sky screen, and we're gonna do some really cool stuff. Here we go, after this ladder. I.E. tank. Okay, focus mode. drop scared me. Alright, we're through. Alright, steak fight. He's weak to spark, so we're gonna do one full charge and switch to spark. I didn't intentionally hit him there so I can catch him from the other side. Good fight. Alright, we're through three. Now, for those of you who know a little bit about this game, this was just a piece of cake of a game. The Gemini stage is the first gatekeeper of the game, where the game just goes like difficulty 3 to 7. Take that, player. And it starts with the famous outdoor screen with the penguin, and in this case we got the dragonflies instead of the fire thingies. Here we go. I almost shortchanged that jump for life. Alright, so another really difficult screen here. We want to go really fast to get these dragonflies to despawn, and I totally missed it. It's alright. Alright, we're just gonna take that safely because health is a concern. Of course, jump into the little tadpole. So these egg screens are really annoying, but one cool thing about it is I'm going to destroy all of them into a slide. There we go. Saves a lot of time. Okay, so as you can see, it causes a lot of lag when I make a mistake. And we're through. All that and no drops. Alright, so coming up is the penguin screen. So we're gonna try to kill these things to kill them, and we're gonna intentionally take damage from the little guys. Here we go. 
does way less damage and the lag. Oh, that refill looks so nice. But we're gonna be content with the small one. Here we go, and another small one. This screen is really scary. I'm gonna take it slow. There's drops everywhere, spikes everywhere. Here we go. Now we can go. Okay, so this is a real cool scale, so we're gonna do the, the copy robot portion with Shadow Blade. And switch to Snake and shoot him in the back while he walks. Because he doesn't know what direction I am, I'm like a ninja. Yeah. Just like that, we're done the first four robos. This is kind of a... The next stage is really easy, it's just a giant Susie, so like if there's any donations to read or anything like that, this is the perfect time. blocks here. There's a really fast skill here, but we're gonna take it easy. We're not here to race or go fast. What do you mean I'm here to go fast? Oh my god, nobody told me. So this is the Susie's that you love from Mega Man 1, except it's about five times the size of your worst nightmare. And it's not that bad. Bye, Susie. You will be missed. Now the complete bullshit starts. I'm not gonna speak a lot during dust, or I'm gonna try to, but this is like the epitome of design to make players not enjoy a video game. So there's gonna be spike pits, there's gonna be half tiptoe jumps, and uh, weird things, and falling here, because why would you have little gaps like that? tripped. I didn't actually trip, I just didn't jump. I'll call it a trip. Makes me feel better. Uh, okay, let's try that again. Here we go. So I didn't go fast the first time because I took damage, so here's how I would have normally done it. There we go. I'm gonna take the safety route, which is the top. This is the epitome of bullshit, I'll just say it. This stage is bullshit. We're gonna intentionally deboost this met here so we can go past the crusher. I take this part safely. So they take seven blades. Alright, so here we go for the famous screen that everybody likes in dust. Of course, the Mets have to take three damage because. Okay, we won't be able to one cycle here because I messed up the last little bit there. I'm just gonna wait here. Okay. Here's the real uh, crap that starts. There's like these. Half tiptoe jump things, I don't even know what to call them, but. Got through two of them, and now I have to do them to the left. Oh. Okay, we got them. There's still a couple things that are difficult, but that was the hardest ones. And here's where you're like, oh, I need Rush Jet, right? Nope, you don't have Rush Jet at this point in the game. So we're gonna tiptoe a rush, and we're gonna turn around and do another rush. I'm gonna switch back to Shadow Blade because everybody loves the Shadow Blade. Okay. 
screen looks really cool, but all it is is just falling straight, dodging this ladder, and here we go. Let's see if we get the two frame jump after the slide. Yeah, we did. Run is valid. Uh, Alright, so a little bit of stress early. Now this boss is a piece of crap because you cannot stop his sucks. So he either he sucks either way. We hope for him to do that pattern and not jump. Ouch! I didn't mean to jump into him there, so we're gonna be careful here. Okay, this is a lot of suck. This is a lot of suck. That was like, what, like five suck? Come on, Dust. <sighs> Alright, we're out of this stage with one death. Could have been worse. We're going to Skull, which is not that much easier. And also this one, the song is really good. Okay, so we got hit there. Not a big deal. They don't do a lot of damage, but touching this cannon does a lot. And there's my refill, even though I got hit. Gonna kill the Skeleton Joes. I'm gonna take this safe. You can jump underneath these bats, but if you don't, you fall in the pit and die. Okay. Let's see if Eddie gives me our safety refill here. Nope. He's not nice today. Okay, we got the small drop. That's a really tough jump there, and that one too, so we didn't touch the bat. Good job so far. We're relatively unscathed. I'm gonna do a really cool trick here, hopefully I get it. So if you, you can use Rush to slide between Rush and the wall here. Oh, I did slide through the wall, but I was supposed to actually actually stay on rush and grab the ladder that didn't happen another really cool use here we're gonna use it as stepping stone and because he hits the wall he disappears so we can use him again right away and get through these pit I'm gonna switch to dust for the rest of this scary portion here we go if that drop would have killed me so I'm just gonna take it easy there. Alright, here we go. Now I think Dust... I've tried this fight before where you don't touch anything, Dust will literally stand there. He won't do anything, which is kind of funny, but... He's purely on... reactive on inputs. Okay. He's dead. I agree, Encourage. I encourage you to watch all marathons as much as you can. Alright, so the harder stage of the game, and hardest is an understatement. Uh, dive in. It's slow, it's laggy, it's water, there's death pits everywhere, everything does like 600 damage. I wish I was lying. There's like two things that don't do a lot of damage and it just so happens to be the things that I want to get hit by. Such as the Mets here and the Rocket. These whales take seven shots of Spark. Shadow I mean, sorry. If I would have hold left there I would have died because it's water. All these spikes are just about to get reversed. 
and why not give people a two frame, a two pixel wide uh, jump here? Ooh, we didn't die. That means we were one pixel away from dying. That was way too close for me to care. Please stop, game. Like, look at this fucking hero of a met man. Wily should give this guy an, a, a pay grade, like a pay upgrade. You hit me so much, I'm gonna have to take a refill here. Okay. Or don't kill it. I'm so confused. Like, I just lost like 15,000 seconds because of a little met. Alright. Moving on. Another whale. That looks low, that looks low. Oh, nice. That's actually our speed strat to go that low. I thought I was gonna die though. How could I go fast when everything's so freaking not fast? Okay, we got hit again. I'm gonna switch to Rush here. This section is pretty scary. I might take a death here at the boss because I'm too low. And there's no refills here to the end. Okay, the last scary jump happened there. We're just gonna take our time and ride... I'd say ride the lightning, but we're just riding a dog. As you can see, the intensified lag starts. I switched. I don't know why I switched when I said I'd take an intentional death. Do I go for it? Let's go for it. It's gonna be dangerous, but we're going for it. No spikes, tubes. It's only your imagination. <laughs> we're just gonna make sure we get hit by missiles and not him. Safe. <laughs> Look at that, Mega Man can touch the ceiling. He can also breathe on the water. Been out in the water for like six minutes. <laughs> Alright guys, we're going to drill. Drill is kind of a cool stage in a way. We're gonna use Skull Shield practically all of it. Um, but it's not considered a really difficult boss, or a really difficult fight. Really difficult stage. Uh, okay, here we go, SK. And we're hoping for a small drop or something there, I didn't get it. We're low on skull. So we're gonna hope Eddie gives us a little refill here. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna have to take that safely. As you can see, I completely missed my jump. No big deal. We're not dead. I'm gonna take a really cool D-boost here from the bat so I can walk on spikes. Come on, Eddie. Aw, oh, man. Okay. So we're gonna have to improvise here or hope we get a drop from the Mets. Looks like we're improvising. Okay, we got a little bit of shield back. So we're gonna have to use Rush Jet a little bit here. There's a really cool one here that you can just... Uh, I'm not gonna do it. It was too high, so if you cast him exactly right, you can basically slide underneath the platform on Rush. Okay, we're gonna switch to dive. I was gonna say I'm a little low on health, so thank you, Big Crusher. Yeah, that was two E-Tanks. They're nice, too.
There is absolutely no reason not to go for them. Oh my god. Come on. Okay. So I only got one dive right at the end there, so that's still good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, so we actually have our first donation of the stream. Yeah, good time. Uh, we have $10 from Encourage with the comment, Gotta do my part to kick cancer's butt. That's right, everybody. Encourage cancer to leave with your donations. Thank you so much, Sham. So we got a little bit of a cutscene here. We're introducing... Um, we're introducing Punk, which is the third Mega Man killer. He's kind of like this really cool Spike dude. He's not weak to anything. He takes one damage from everything except a Charge Buster. He takes three damage. So we're going to try to get as many shots on him as possible. Alright. We're going to try to get two shots in right at the start here. Nope. Just one. Okay, he didn't jump again. That was a really that was a really short cycle, so he can jump three to five times. He only jumped two or three times there. Before transferring. Alright guys. So we just beat Punk. We can all go home safely. We're gonna we there's this really cool island that people party on. What? What? The game is not over. The party island, what is it? It's Wily's castle in the water. Nobody knew. Whoa. Seriously though, this is a really sick soundtrack, by the way. Best song in the game. It's called the Wily's Marine Fortress. Intentionally deboost past the shield here and without success. So we took a lot of damage here, so we're gonna hope for some refills or something. Oh, by the way, these platforms, three frame jumps. So the game thought it was really cool to uh, give casual players three, three frames of a second to react upon a pit that opens to kill you. I'm gonna use Dive Missile here, which homes on enemies. I'm gonna wait for these clappers. There's really cool rush uh, strats here that I haven't learned. Sorry, guys. Kill these shield enemies. So these guys, the, these enemies, they go up and down. Do you know what the name of the enemies are? Up and down. Not joking. Okay, so coming up is a really scary screen. I'm just gonna focus. And focus on dying. Oh my god. Okay, we got zero lives now, so let's try to uh, not do that again. Fortunately, it wasn't like too bad of a death. We're not too far behind on that one. Alright, here we go. Okay. 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 Alright. The scare is not over. This part has some really annoying three frame death. Okay, we're alive. And a really laggy bomb here. We're just gonna wait till it presses down for safety. Gonna jump over this bomb. Really cool shot. And uh, we're gonna do a bunch of slides here to kill some mitts. Uh, 
game, feel free to give me an extra life because I just messed up. Alright. Alright, an unneeded refill. Thank you so much. I'm going to switch to Spark here because uh, we have another meeting with our friend, the Giant Susie. on dive that's what I want okay all right so just a little bit to go last segment all these refills that I don't want main okay that was a really nice screen final boss. So the final boss is a joke. So the wily machine you have to shoot in the eyes. I'm gonna try to shoot it twice per cycle. It's really precise but it'll save me so a lot of time. Okay, I just missed that one. It's okay. We're not going to be able to save any time here, so we're going to wait till it comes to the left. Because I want to kill it while it's on the left. There we go. And we're going to switch to Punk. It's the only time you'll see Punk's weapon. So we're going to stand right on this pixel. I just look at the bolts on the bottom of his foot. And we're going to just shoot some Punk's right on the capsule. That's a decent Mega Man 3. It wasn't fantastic, but it was good. Just like that, we're on the last two games, guys. It is the longest ones. Mega Man 4. You'll notice I do like a soft reset there. That's permitted in the speedrun. It's just skip a, a, a cutscene that occurs. All right, and with the uh, game swap, we'll outline another donation we got. Uh, we had Stunt Brewster with 3,000 bits donated. Thank Yo. you so much, Stunt. Yo, Stunt. Thank you, Rooster. That was a wake-up call of a donation. Is that a good Rooster joke? I don't know. Alright, Pharaoh. So, we have a cool charge shot, and uh, we just killed a bunch of scorpions, and the game is like, what else could we do? More scorpions. Alright. I took some damage here, so I'm gonna take it safely and kill this mummy as well. So you'll notice the mechanics look very similar to 3 for this one. The charge shot is different, but uh, the game plays very similarly, so it's, it's not too bad of a transition. Gonna do some foot shots here because shooting a mummy in the foot is a weakness. Does that make sense? Alright, so I'm gonna do some crazy one tile slides here because I don't know how else to do it. And I died. Crazy in a bad way, apparently. Alright, so we'll try that again. Okay, we're gonna have to kill the footsies again. This is the game I grinded the most, uh, because, uh, I liked it. Alright, here we go. Let's try again. Oh my god! Oh my god! So there was a drop in the spikes and it caused lag. 31-31 for Mega Man 3 is good. Uh, we're off to a really bad start here. <laughs> we're gonna have to take this... 
The problem is taking it safe. I don't know how. Oh, okay. Okay, so this is how you would normally do it. Okay. Okay, game. You took two of my lives. You win. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, I have the world record of sub 40 is pretty insane in this game, so we're not PVing. Um, but we could still PV 1, one to 5. Which is all we care about today. I did lose a lot of my time, haven't I? Shit, I was on good pace. I'm just looking at my timer now. Holy crap. Um, okay, so I just lost about a minute with my shenanigans. Alright guys, we're not done doing shenanigans though. I am here to entertain you. The PB can come later if it has to. Entertain and rake in donations. We have another donation coming in from PK Adriel. Uh, $15. He says, thanks Trizer and GOC. So thank you as well, Manix, for uh, being a part of this. Thank you. Where are we at, Sham, with the donations? Uh, as of right now, just update, we are sitting at $3,217.94. So we are $217.94 past our 3,000 goal already. And um, we still get a, uh, an hour and a half before uh, Streiser's run. So uh, I'm hoping this goal breaks a little bit more uh, so he can wake up to an amazing surprise. Thank you to everyone who's donated and participated so far. You guys are absolutely incredible. Thanks for that update, and hell yeah, guys. Let's, uh... Who's feeling, uh... Who's feeling, uh... Hyped? Can we get to 4,000 before Streiser gets up? Is that irrealistic? You guys want to get to 4K? Four K video for four K speedruns. All right, so we're gonna switch to Pharaoh here. We're gonna do some really cool spring boosts here. Just who cares? So you notice these little pea things that drop? That's pea chips. It's like currency. So this is the first edition of the game that introduces a store. We'll actually use that a little later. For now though, we switch back to Buster. We're gonna do a really edgy jump here. Okay, and another one. Oh man, this run is killing me right now. And we start all the way back here. Should have taken that refill, but I didn't. We'll just have to do Buster Strats. It's all good. That cannon, man, that is the trolliest cannon ever. He can hit you there while you're transitioning and you still fall down. Oh, I need to stop throwing your right before I start throwing up. Maybe it's my way of spending five more minutes on this stream, and you guys don't know. Just wanna hang out. Alright. Okay. Alright, let's do this again. It was that simple, I just had to shoot him. I'm gonna do a really cool manipulation of bullets there so they don't come after me. And here we'll kill the thing in a diagonal. I'm gonna grab this large peach up there. 
Alright. So this is where we were supposed to be a minute ago. Good fight, good fight. Squidman. Oh, Sham's gonna do it? <laughs> Strizer are sleeping? Y'all got fooled. He's been here the whole time. Check this out. <laughs> Good morning, buddy. I hope you didn't see all those deaths. We're running high on zero lights, but hey, it's Toad Man, because Toad Man is... Toad Man's free. So, Strizer, to keep you updated, we were on world record pace going in Mega Man 4, and I died to one tall slides, because, uh, you know, that's Mega Man. But we're still live and somewhat well. Going through Toad Man stage here, we're gonna intentionally switch to Pharaoh here and kill birds in the air to reduce lag. And crabs, sorry. There's the bird. Hi, bird. And here we come to Gary. We'll do our own version of Gary Skip. Shout out to SpongeBob and Gary. Who cares? Just go over it. So as you can see, this screen is very laggy. I'm intentionally stopping to grab the drops so that the lag disappears. Hey, good morning, Pro. Is that Pro? Proxy. Is that how you say proxy? Good morning. Alright, really cool screen here. We're gonna grab a safety life here because it takes like 0.2 seconds. And do we ever need it right now? Alright, coming up to the hardest boss of the game. Shoot a pharaoh, switch to ring. Did you guys really believe me when I said it was the hardest boss of the game? <laughs> you guys are so gullible. <laughs> yes, keep on crushing, guys. So now I'm going to do something really freaking cool. I don't even know if I'm allowed to swear, so I'm going to say freaking. So one thing about this game is when you shoot an item, in this case Rush, and you deploy it and you switch to something else in your menu, it disappears and you can cast it again. I'm going to use that to constantly cast Rush and walk over a large pit spikes instead of riding this really slow platform. So I'm going to focus for that uh, in about 30 seconds. First we got to shut off the lights here and uh, walk on these lights off platforms, which are laggy. Alright, here we go. I'm going to set up, switch to rush. We're gonna get another life here, so the game is generous for me, giving us free lives. Alright, go. Oh. And we're through. My chills, man. It gives me the chills every time. If if you weren't awake, you will be now. All 
right? Just a little bit to go. All right. So now we got to the famous swingy platforms of Mega Man 4 in the bright stage. I'm gonna intentionally wait here so I can time when the enemy comes on screen. Grab the letter just to reduce lag. We actually don't need it. Another scary jump right there. No problem. Here we go. Another last little section like this. And just like that, we're on Pharaoh. Or on Bright. But, uh, spoilers, I am going to switch to Pharaoh. Alright, so I'm going to do a couple Pharaoh shots and then we'll switch to Rain Flush. Alright, I wanted to switch before that, but he wasn't giving me a flash, so I figured why not try. Okay. If I'm freaking out, it's because I just killed the spider that was trying to crawl on me. <laughs> Woo! Stressful. Alright, so uh, for you Dragon Ball fans, actually before that, It's a one minute cutscene, so if anybody needs to go to the bathroom, now's the time. Oof. I am terrified of bugs. So that was like, uh. If I screamed like a girl, that was probably me. This is a really cool cutscene, by the way, like a really deep layered cutscene for Game Boy, so I, it is an appreciated cutscene. Alright, so we're about to fight Satellite. He's going to open his eye and I'm going to need to one cycle him, otherwise I'll lose a whole bunch of time. Oops. It's menu. Okay. So I can only hurt him when he opens that little thing. Uh... Alright, one cycle. Perfect. So now we're going to do a little section uh, and we're going to fight Imperfect Cell for you Dragon Ball Z fans. These missiles do like six damage, do not get hit by them. I'm still looking at the spider. It's like dead over there, but like I'm still looking at it. God damn, man. What if it comes alive again? So this is in perfect cell. Alright, now we go into the Mega Man 5 Robos, starting with Crystal, and what's new in this is we need to gather the Wily Letters, one in each of the four stages, to get into the Wily stage. Not too many rush strats in this game, like tricks, but we'll use it here to avoid this really slow climb. Really cool segment. Just like that. And we're gonna go back to Bester. Very precise set of slides here to kick. 
kill enemies while my shot continues on screen. There we go. A little bit of lag, but we're through. Please go down. Okay. I'm gonna kill the Roomba there. Alright, so there's a letter over there. Wow, that's gonna take forever to get over there. I know. Let's just take ring and just get it. Here we go. And we're gonna do the same thing here. Grab a feral refill because our stuff doesn't refill at this point on in the game. So I need to feral for later. Really tricky jump right there. Okay, there's actual routing here so you can go down or low we're gonna go high and here we're gonna go through a very scary section triple D boost into crystal guys and we have one HP left Luckily, there's two orbs there, but we're down to 5 HP, which is still low. These little swingy platforms. No big deal. So that refill is actually nice because um, it'll give me a little bit of safety against Crystal Man. I didn't get the jump there, so like when the platform comes up, you can kind of eject yourself off of it. We're almost done the stage. One more little segment here. One more charge shot to kill another Roomba. Just like that, we're on Crystal. So he's gonna jump up high and when he stretches his legs out, I'm gonna jump and shoot a shot and shoot his legs. Just like that. Then switch to Ring, which is his weakness. I'm gonna intentionally take some of these bullets off screen to reduce lag. And he just kills me and none of that matters. Let's try again. So that's what, death number three? Death number four? Death too much. Fortunately, that one is not too costly, but it's costly nonetheless. I'm not gonna finish in the middle, it's okay. to Napalm, which I do like the version of this song. Yeah, so Cult, whenever you get to the Wily Boss stage and you don't have all the letters, it literally just turns you around. It's just like, nope, you can't enter. Yeah, they're just RNG Minute. We're setting up Mega Man D for the big finale. So this is probably the closest version to the actual NES version, which is a great song by the way. I'm just going to use a little rush here because we don't want to climb ladders. So we have to ride this thing, there's no way around it, tried everything. Squeeze under that. Cast a rush here. Oh, by the way, the screen is about to get really sensitive, so if you're sensitive to brightness, I'm going to be using Flash Stopper for a long time. Uh, for all of this stage coming up, so... Uh, for those who are sensitive to light and flashes, please stop looking. Thank you. 
It's actually like a really bright flash. I think that's what makes it worse, Goomba. Oops. I'm gonna do a really cool ring grab there, because who wants to platform? Two more bright stoppers right here. We're done for Bright Stoppers for now. You can look again. For those who weren't looking. I'm gonna switch to Crystal Eye. Can, can we combine like a Mega Man weapon with a popular song? Like... Crystal Eye, yeah, yeah. Crystal Man's dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Oh no, this is gonna bounce everywhere. This is not a 60 FPS game. I am running at 60 FPS, but I'm pretty sure it's futile. <laughs> All right, now we go to everybody's happy stone. If anybody has happy stone emotes, now's the time. Shoutouts to happy stone. jump over this mat, do this really cool slide on this thing, cause, uh, why not? Alright, so we're gonna kill the famous hippos here using feral shots. The mats here are annoying, they do like the NES, they split into these three little thingies. do a really dangerous jump here. I'm gonna jump in between a bat and a pit. Here we go. Ooh. Do not try this at home. Okay, we're gonna switch back to Pharaoh for the second hippo. Hey, you're supposed to die. Kill this little shield guy, because the ring will go under his shield. It's good of his shield if it goes under, buddy. I'm gonna jump on his head, because nobody cares about that one. Alright. Almost done the stage. Another bad jump here. A little bit easier. And, of course, I jinxed myself, and I gotta stop talking about what is easy and what isn't. Now we gotta use some Pharaoh. I don't know if I have enough. We have just enough to kill this. I'm gonna take this damage. I'm gonna take a couple of rings here just for safety. Alright. So going into Charge Man with no lives is kind of scary as well. Okay. We're gonna kill the bat this time. I just kind of short jumped it. it. It wasn't even the bat jump that killed me, I just jumped way too early. Alright. So, we're gonna try to make Happy Stone dance here. So, we just wanna hop around him. No high jumps, and I get a high jump.
Chugga 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 choo choo. How many chuggas do you guys do? Two chuggas or three chuggas when you sing? I do three. Chugga 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 chugga. No, I do four. No, I do three. I don't know anymore. Charge man, which is choo choo train level. Lots of chickens. Transporting chickens. I don't know where all these chickens are going, probably to KFC. There's these really dangerous spike jumps there, you just seen one. That was the easiest one, there's an even harder one. Okay. Didn't do that one very well. Papayas? Yeah, I didn't know about papayas. That's what I get for being Canadian. Okay, we got one crazy jump. And we got all these mices. Here's the ladder, don't forget it. There's, just jump over this mouse. Nice screen. One more dangerous jump here. And we got it. Okay. Now, Charge Man, he is weak to stone. Now, unlike the version on the NES, we don't have to pause every time. I'm gonna just try to get into his hitbox while he's walking. Cast it inside of him. Right here. Perfect. That was, a, that was the fastest kill possible. Yo, Soul Sword. Good day. Hi, also, what's up, Rainbow Otter? Bird Sham? Bolt? Strizer? guys you guys ready for this so here's cult where you would be denied if you didn't have the letters the doors wouldn't all open it would just make you turn around into stage select all right and here's perfect cell what does he do Raises his ears and puts some shades on. I'm trying to hit him while the rocks are in his hitbox so they don't appear on the screen and reduce his lag. Yo, what's up, FCJ? And, uh, Congrats on your control run just before mine. Feels like hours ago, because it has been. Now we get the Blade Cracker, which is like a really OP weapon, but first we gotta escape. So we're gonna use Buster and the Cracker. Kill all these missiles in a way. You can shoot it in multiple directions. Let's see. Really powerful weapon with plenty of ammo. That 
That's probably my fastest ever escape. The music is not even close to the loop. Uh, things were going well. <laughs> I haven't died at all in Mega Man 4. Yeah, thanks, champ. As long as nobody has seen it. <laughs> you know what? It's funny because it's the game that I have the best time in, but it's the hardest game in a marathon. Like, sometimes people ask me which game is hardest, and I always say this one isn't because I know it so much, but practicing for these marathons, I can seriously put the speedrun of this one really high on the difficulty list. Much higher than I would have initially put it. We're gonna get a full refill here. Because we need all our weapons. And maybe we should buy a life if we have enough. I don't even know how much it costs. I don't have enough. Alright, leave. I just lost a whole bunch of time. So, I do need a decision in the next 30 seconds from you guys. Do I take an intentional game over at an opportune time, or do we go for it? With zero lives. <laughs> go for it, said the speedrunner. Nothing could go wrong, but everybody's saying go. So we're going. All right, zero lives Wily it is. We're just gonna go back really far if it doesn't work out. Alright, so we're gonna fight a satellite here. I'm just gonna jump off screen just to get a little bit further here. Okay. So this thing can do every weapon. That was a good one. It's not the one that causes the most lag. We're gonna get close to shoot this one. It's only game over cancer, not game over Manix. Fair enough. Watch your eyes, guys. Another bright here. That was a really tough section of one tile slides, which I, unlike the Pharaoh screen, I totally nailed. Okay. We're gonna abuse this weapon a lot here. It has tons of ammo, tons of power. We're just gonna kind of barrel through everything with it. Chickens, who cares? Do a neat refill grab right here. Refill our Pharaoh. We're gonna switch back to Rush Jet here. Oops, didn't go down the ladder. Just gonna skip this guy. Another bright. Okay, so we're gonna fight this first mini eye. So one eye is real and we're gonna kill it, but we also wanna kill the little guys if possible to reduce lag. I just have to keep following this real one. Here he goes. Okay. I'm gonna do a. Let's switch back to Belayed here. There's gonna be a, a another bright or two here a little bit later on. Okay. Another ride. Okay, slide underneath that. We're gonna kill some mummies here.
Switch to Rush, switch back to Mummies. A lot of menuing in this stage. Okay, we're gonna switch to Napalm here. Hey, what's up, Riff? Good morning. Also, XR. Sorry if I forgot anybody I try to read chat. But it's a video game. Okay. Alright, two more brights, guys, and we're done. Promise. That was one, and the other one's right here. Alright, we're at the refights. At probably a bajillion minutes. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna fight everybody's favorite boss again. This time we're gonna use... For ammo reasons, we're gonna use the Rain Flush for all of Bright Face. Except for the last hit, we'll switch to Buster. froze me at the exactly wrong time, in my opinion. We're gonna fight Pharaoh on flat ground this time. Good fight. Now we're gonna go to ring. Yeah, I didn't go for the crazy slide because I had zero lives, Rainbow, but there was one in particular that I really wanted to do, but I would have lost like two minutes had I gone for it and missed it. So, we took it safe. Here we go. Crystal, we're gonna use Pharaoh since we're already on him and switch to ring. seat please let's see if we get another let's see if we get another good train sh shots green kill nope you give me invincibility so right off the bat it's the bad pattern but we killed him after that so that's fine we're gonna go to stone and end with crystal, or end with napalm, sorry. Come on, full dance? Hell yeah, full dance. So no high jumps, that's what you want. Let's see if we get the little slide jump on the platform here. Nope, we didn't get it, so we lost about a second and a half. One more, guys. Okay, we killed Wily. Or, we didn't kill Wily. Wow, I'm ahead of the game. We're going to kill Wily now. So, yep, we're gonna need Rush for the first phase. Also, enjoy this cool cutscene, though. Look how big Wily looks with this cool cutscene. This is probably the biggest Wily of all the games. Game Boy Man, they went big. kill this eye using crystals, but I'm going to use Rush to get up there. Alright, 
good. So we got an unfavorable hand, the second one, but I managed to make the most of it. And I killed it while the hand was off screen, which is a faster transition. Now for the second phase, he opens his mouth for damage. I'm going to take the blade cracker and intentionally deboost into his mouth and try to one cycle him. Here we go. Yes, we got it. Very precise, very... There's only like a... There's a very small window to get that. You have to slide at a specific spot. Alright, so final phase. I have audio cues for this final phase. So I'm going to use the cracker again. He teleports, but I use sound cues on when he appears at the top to kill him. So I'm just going to be quiet here. Like that we're done four guys one more yeah that was like a 44 something not a great time a really good wally fight though all right so we're putting the native colors of Mega Man V one more game guys and it's a good one So in this game, we charge the buster and it shoots our, our what? It shoots our hand. So the this is the mega arm of the future. So the buster, regular buster, is no longer powerful enough to defeat the star droids. So we have to use this upgrade that Dr. Light make us called the mega arm. So it kind of shoots three quarters to the screen. It comes back. Can hit on its way back too. Also, shoutouts to probably the best soundtrack of all five games. This game is really cool. I love this one. I think it's one of my favorites to speedrun as well. Get off screen, bird. You're causing lag. Potentially get hit by the steam there to get through these ones. So we, sometimes we can do see these little half charges because they do two damage. We'll actually use that against the boss. Okay, so I had two frames to jump out of that slide onto the ladder. That didn't work. Longest game of the five. This run should be closer to 50 minutes. Give Streiser enough time to coffee. Almost at the boss, just this little screen with this little flying dude. So I was talking about the half charges that do two damage. We're going to see that on this boss. So it's faster to do a bunch of half charges than a full charge all the time. If I would actually charge properly, it would help. Yep, that's not how it works, guys. Not how it works.
See, I told you Squidman would do the SMZ3 seed. He loves it. Alright, Mercury. I love this song, but it's so slow. It loops so quick, I mean. Like, it's just like a 15 second song. Loop. Maybe not 15. Well, maybe. I love the colors of this game. I hope you guys too. So this game is a Super Game Boy Enhanced game. So it's like in the later gens of Game Boy before they made the full-on Game Boy Color. Some of these games were implemented with color. They look really nice. But still work on the original Game Boy. And it loops. More like 20 seconds, like 30. So this is the salt bubble. It shoots in all angles. And when it splashes on something, it breaks. It's a really powerful weapon. We're gonna use it a lot. We're out here, so we're gonna switch to Buster. Kill that... I said, kill that bird? There we go, thank you. So one thing is I can't charge in between transitions, so sometimes I'll charge way early than I should. This is... Entirely intended. Oops, I lost the charge there. Alright. Alright, so this is Marshmallow Man, I mean Mercury. So if he has odd numbers of health, he's gonna do a fast transition. If he has even, he's gonna do slow. So I'm gonna intentionally do this specific way so that I have less long transitions as possible. I'm going to do one more full here and here I'm going to do two half charges. There's one so he's going to keep doing these smaller things. There we go and I'm going to finish with a full charge right here. Scripted fight. Alright, so now we beat Mercury and we get the Snatch Buster, and I'm not trying to be dirty, that's literally what they call it, the Snatch Buster. And uh, in the US they're like, we can't use that term, we're gonna call it the Grab Buster. But this is Rockman World 5. Guys, it's on the screen! Like, don't, don't give me shit for it, that's what it said. Gordon's like, Snatch! Hey, I'm here! Mars, <laughs> hate this stage, hate this stage. Mars the stage, everybody hates Mars the stage. Stupid heckin' laggy Mars the stage. Na -na 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 Die, monkey, please. Thank you. So I wanted to kill him because his banana was probably going to kill me. Because it happens all the time. So these really cool fists here kind of come back and hit him a second time. I'm going to kill this monkey. Okay. I'm going to take it safe there. You can jump kill that monkey, but if you don't, you die. So I'm going to take it safe. This is a really good song, by the way. This entire soundtrack is a banger. I'm gonna switch to Mercury here, which does damage, but also gets these orbs out, which heals you for small amounts. So I'm actually gonna intentionally use it to heal up and de-boost through things. I'm 
As you can see though, they do cause a ton of lag. That's not good. Please fall. Man, this monkey, I tell you. You know, birds are jerks in games, but monkeys are jerks too. Like, what's worse, birds or monkeys? Dang. Both. Really cool rocket boost here, so I can just slide through this. Okay. Just one little second left. Alright, just hit me. That was a bad segment, so I'm just gonna debust through them. Cool, works for me. This is Mars. We're gonna use the salt bubble here to kill it. We're just gonna dodge his attacks that he shoots at us at the same time. Just kind of lob shots. We one shot hit the iframes there, so you have to keep going. Birds really are jerks. What is the jerkiest bird? I mean, beating Mega Man 5 is kind of a jerk. He's supposed to be on your team. Why am I fighting plants? Well, it is Star Droids and it is in space. Like, this is Star Wars V. Return of the Mega Man Adai. Mega Windu. Mace man Windu. Alright, Venus, if anybody knows how to whistle, now's the time. This is the most unique track of Mega Man I've ever heard, but I think it's super fitting to the stage. Okay, we beat the waterfall there, so the waterfall won't kill me, but it will wash me out, making the jump harder. If you can't whistle, at least do some doo doo doos. So, as long as I don't move, the waterfall will keep me on the ladder, but if I move, it'll kill me. There we go. We're gonna kill a crab here, which makes bubbles to trap you. We don't like bubbles. Oops. So I have a problem with my button, sometimes it releases my charge. So far it hasn't killed me. So far. Come on ladders, possible. Alright, so we actually just got another donation. Um, $15 from Faffy Faff with the comment, Don't know why I'm still awake, but here you go. Heck, cancer because thank you so much Shen by the way and thank you so much Faf. Guys let's get to 4k so the reason why you're awake is because Streiser is awake and nobody has a reason to not be awake if he is because he's been up for like three weeks. There you have it guys. That's my reason. I'm gonna switch to Mars here which is the weakness of, well, it's actually Photon Missile. I call it Mars because it says that may. It's called the Photon Missile. Here we go. So we're gonna hope he does low jumps. This is Toad Man with enhanced armor. But he's still dumb. Here we 
go. Alright. So, now we're going to the easy devil, and uh, actually in my splits, I called it EZ, and I was trying to remember the other day why I called it EZ, and it just flicked in my head that it was actually Streiser. Streiser called it EZ, and I kept calling it EZ. So I called my split EZ devil. But fortunately, it is not easy at all. I've never had the one cycle easy devil, not even in practice. But his name is Dark Moon, and we're gonna still go for it. It's just really hard. So who you saw there is Terra. Got bubble butt. I did. I've always had a bubble butt squid. TMI. <laughs> so Mega Man's like, what? I feel like something is following me. I should play it in English someday just to get the text. Da -da -da -da. Alright, this is Taro, and he's been quarantined way too long and needs a haircut. He's like, you're not gonna fight me, you're gonna fight this little thing. I'm gonna die today, Mega Man. So I'm gonna use a specific pixel to stand on here, which I use the flooring as a guide. There's like a bunch of lines in the floor. I'm gonna stand one more, right there. I'm gonna focus here. Here we go. No! No! Jerk! Alright. You cycle, the usual. Ugh, hardest thing ever. We'll take the 22 seconds, as we always do. All right, we're in it. Swirly hair man. Nice one, Rainbow. All right, so this is the most Dr. Light will ever talk, like more than Mega Man 7. Look at all the text that I'm gonna cycle through. Like, come on, Dr. Wily, please. I just wanna go fight. Thank you, yes, I want the uh, W tank. So we're gonna use that to refill the salt bubble in the final fight. Not the final fight, but the Wally Machine phase one. Dun, 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 dun. And now we go to Squidman's favorite place because he hates planets, so we're going to fake planets. There's one fake planet. And we start with it. Here we go. The planet is fake, but the music is real and awesome. Alright. Here we go. Pluto. These little tank enemies do like 1600 damage, even though they're supposed to be a shield. The best defense is your offense, I guess. I'm gonna switch to Neptune here and do some really cool arc shots. Right here. And make sure the bubble goes off screen not to cause lag. I'm gonna kill this thing with two shots underneath. All right. So coming up is a really hard uh, little screen. I'm gonna jump over a little beam projectile while not causing this girder to kill me. Okay, we got it. So we're gonna refill bubble here 
the Neptune, so our weapons don't refill from this point on, so if I if I see a large refill, I will stop for it. Really important. Okay, just 600 damage. No worries, guys. We're speedrunning this for a while. We know what's going to happen. So this weapon is why it's so good. Look at all the health I got back just from using this. It does cause lag, unfortunately, but uh, there's not really anything better either way. Another little guy like this. And we're going to see Proto here. Proto can give us a life, can give us a refill, can give us an E tank, can give us an S tank, which we want the S tank. Yes, we got the S tank. So that's all the refills we don't have to worry about. That's extremely valuable. So all I have to worry about is the stuff I will use frequently. This is the hardest kill of the game, the hardest one cycle. Very precise. Alright, and a special for you guys, we're gonna kill this boss with Rush. Who kills bosses with Rush? Right here. A lot of the strats involves using a bubble that will crawl up the wall and kill it. That was actually the quick kill, by the way. Other than me deciding to use Rush. I just thought it was cool. So far, this, this run is going pretty well. Next, we're going to Jupiter. So this break dash literally breaks the game. It holds its name well. So when you do the dash, you have some invisibility frames, invincibility frames, or iframes for short. And uh, we're going to abuse that in the entirety of the game from now on. Here we go. So we abuse it here, we abuse it here. We're just going to cheat our way to victory. Big cheater, watch this. Cheater. Cheater again. This weapon is completely broken. I mean, it's working as intended. That's what they wanted, but dang. Speedrunner's dream. Walk through enemies for free. Oh shit, that run was... that jump was not good. That one's better. Okay. The checkpoint is right after this really scary jump, which is why I took my time there. <laughs> Probably the hardest jump of the game. Really scary. Okay. Here we go. And what do we do next? Well, we could always dash more. kill that one. Just to conserve a little bit of dash. He boost through this guy and we're almost at the end of the stage. Here we go. And a boost through this bubble and sure enough what do we do last? We do a break dash. Did you guys think I really was gonna use break dash with this boss? Fooled you, we're going Venus. We're going to use these exploding bubbles, which is his weakness. He's invincible during this spark phase. I didn't do that very well, but it's alright. Okay. We're not dead. Yeah, this is Mega Man V and the longest one, Professory. It's about 50 minutes. 40, 45 to 50 minutes. 45 
4559, uh, 4553, sorry, is my PB for this game. It has a lot, uh, some longer cutscenes and stuff as well. Now we get the other broken weapon, the electric shock. It's basically a beam that you can hold out in front of you and kill everything. And we're gonna use that in Saturn and shout out to another banger of a song. I'm gonna use the word banger all day. I'm gonna switch to it right away and you'll see how powerful this thing is. It lets me continue moving while pretty much one-shotting everything. It even stops bullets. So we want to keep this and Pluto refilled throughout the run. Okay. Good first section. This is the checkpoint, so good first half. Oh my god. Okay, I took a death, but fortunately it's a really... not that costly of a death. Because I'm right here. I just shortened my jump, which is really easy because of the gravity, as you saw the gravity changes. Okay, and he wasn't nice. I wanted a Jupiter refill there. So I can keep doing this. I intentionally take a D boost there just to save a Jupiter. Shot. Ooh, that was way too close to the spikes for my comfort. Okay, we didn't get any refill drop, unfortunately, which is one of the good stages to get them. I don't even have enough to kill this boss, so we're gonna have to use our Mega Arm for part of it. And this boss does something really cool. He can eat your Mega Arm, so if he does the shield, I will show you guys something really cool intentionally. Alright. Look, I lost my arm. Oh no, never mind, I didn't lose it. Never mind. So if I shoot my buster in his portal, he actually keeps the arm and it's like off of Mega Man's arm. It's kind of weird. So we just lost seconds thinking I showed you guys something cool, but I didn't. But you saw the buster shots being absorbed behind me. That's kind of cool. A really funky boss mechanic. Snooch his snooch <laughs> the snooch buster. <laughs> now we got the black hole. Shoot your snatch buster in the black hole. Guys, the funny weapons are not even done. There are so many other there's another weapon. So first this boss. I'm just going to say Uranus because I don't want to say it the way you guys want me to say it. Whoa. Jump up, please. Okay, so we're going to have to switch to Jupiter and get a refill here. Okay. So this is the stage we're hoping for some niceness. This is a really weird song, but I think it's super fitting to the stage, like a Pharaoh-type song. I think it's a brilliant song. Coming up is Eddie, so we want Eddie to give us a Jupiter refill or a Pluto. What do I have? Let's do Jupiter. Thank you, man. So now we just hope for another refill like that for our Pluto and we're all set. So 
So this weapon is what allows a speedrun to ride. This bullet, we gotta race it. Yeah. Flex. Sometimes that one gives me a refill, that's why I waited there. Okay, so we didn't get the refill, but that's alright. We're just gonna be low on ref Jupiter and Pluto, which is a common thing. I'm gonna kill this annoying bird just to be sure. So we're gonna use the the break dash here to kill Uranus. So you literally just dash into him. And do little mini dashes. That's it. Alright guys, so if you thought Snatchbuster was funny, wait till you see the name of this weapon. This is... You've got the... Cool rock throwing weapon, it's like the ultimate destroyer construction weapon, right? Stone... What? What? I can't even focus on my Terra fight. What is this game? <laughs> Did somebody call my parents? Alright, we're gonna use the Deep Digger. Which happens to be useful in this fight. No, in the menu it says you're, you are. <laughs> Man, we had our dose of adultery today. Guys, I don't even know how to prepare you for what's up next. Some, can somebody mod? Can somebody delete Mr. Otter's message? Please mod. So Mega Man's enjoying the night. A nice picnic without any picnic things. It's like, oh, look, it's a balloon. Balloon show. Oh, I love Star Wars. It's a Death Star. It's, 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 what? It's Majin Wiley? He's got the Majin sign on his head. I still think it's the Death Star. Alright guys, you are not ready for this stage. So we gotta kill these little annoying shits.
Oh shit, I was too high. You just turn around so slow. Get me out of here. Alright, so now we gotta dodge these beams. They're all predetermined. What are you... <laughs> Alright. So this is Skull Blazer. His patterns are fixed. I need to shoot him in the mouth after his beams. We're gonna four cycle him, the task and three cycle him. And shoot some little missiles. these four shots. Here we go. So our health carries over in the next stage, so it is important to uh, not get hit here. Safety. Alright, guys, we're already in the Wily stage. Already. I'm gonna try to line up with the mouth here. Really good lineup. Okay. So now we're going to fight all the four Mega Man killers again, is essentially what the wild stage is. We don't have a lot of Pluto here. So I'll need to, uh, let's just take this damage. Uh-oh, I fell. No. I knew it was a possibility, but I didn't want to call it a possibility. So we're gonna go through the rush of shame. So I was supposed to go up, obviously. It happens. It's all right. Okay, so rip PB probably, because that was a lot of time loss. Come on, let's go. Get out of the bubble, please. <laughs> oh, this shield guy, man, he does like 600 damage. Okay. That was a really, 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 really big blunder. This is Anchor again, as you remember him. Looks like we got something else that kicks his ass. We're gonna refill Jupiter and Pluto. There's two refills coming up is why I said that. There we go, there's one. So one thing about Pluto is when you dash, oops, you keep the property as long as you keep sliding so I can just go through enemies like that even though it's further into my slide. Okay, so Mega Man from the future is weak to Mars. Okay, good fight. So here's a perfect example. You see how I did that dash really early, but as long as I keep dashing here, I should go right through this guy. Nice. Break this wall. I told you guys the break dash breaks the game. I wasn't I wasn't joking. I was being honest with everybody. Okay, just gonna slide our way to punk. Which is weak to the salt bubble. fight would be a lot easier than it was on three with this. Oops. I didn't want him to transition though. Oh, okay, Venus, sorry. We're gonna do a slight jump here just to get through this gap. Past these spikes.
So the reason we switched to Venus is we can get through this without the break dash and a weapon for Blade or Ballad? Blade? I say Blade. Sounds better. So this is perfect cell. He still just jumps. He hasn't learned anything. So guys, because of my big blunder, I cannot guarantee a PB here, but it's one hell of a run, despite that. So you guys got a really good run. Which is nice. Time is going to be really good. Alright, we're going to fight Jupiter. So the fight's similar here, except there's no ice, so it changes the physics completely of this fight. Oops, missed the bubble. Okay. Be that way. Okay, yeah, we have enough Jupiter to fight both Mars and Saturn. Which is why we go to Saturn, or Jupiter, right away. We're just gonna get up close and do this. Second thought, I was short a little bit. And... Deep dig, Jubes. It's, it's spring break, deep dig all you want. switch to the only time we're gonna use the homing laser Terra's weapon the earth something it's kind of just gonna home on him okay. Pluto fight is should be the same If I can get the quick kill. Really difficult one. Wow, we got it twice, guys. That's. I've never had that in a run, so you guys get it first. Two Mercury quick kills, or two Pluto quick kills, and two Rush kills. Should have just enough Pluto to kill this guy, and maybe one more. Okay, good. So the the Snatchbuster here can steal anything if it hits me. It can even steal my E tank and my W tank. So we're gonna intentionally go into the hitbox and do these double hits. There we go. Alright, so now we need to refill the black hole. Refill... Uh, uh no, not, not Jupiter. Pluto. And we need Neptune. Okay. So... Now I got everything I need to finish the game. Now there's, for some reason, all these refills are there. But the game decided, let's just have another proto. And if he gives me an S tank, it's like a 12 second time loss. So no S tank, no S tank, no S tank, no S tank. Of course I get the S tank. Of course. <laughs> God dang. <laughs> God dang.
Why do you give me like 18 refills only to shove a nest tank in my mouth? The devs are like, yeah, that'd be hilarious. These hands have little eyes on them that I have to shoot. Alright, good first hand. Marathon luck, the best of the worst, yep. Also, hello, Mellow, Legacia. Some new names that I see. Now, this second one is a lot harder. It's like a little pinching hand, but it's going to follow me slowly and I have to, like, back up and shoot some arced shots. And this is why I need the W tank, because it's also weak to the Neptune bubble. So I'll be shooting a few shots from this fill and then fill in my tank. I want it to spawn as much to the left as possible. Perfect. Oh, that one shot was way off. Did you guys see that go to the left? Oh shit, I actually messed it up. Okay. I'll have to fix it. Oh, this is a terrible fight. Oh my god. Guys, somebody beat me up. Hey, I got one arc shot to finish. Uh, okay, so now we're going to do a really cool refight. So this fight is normally long, the phase two, and you have to do all these cycles for the capsule to appear. But if you go into his hitbox a little bit with Pluto and shoot a black hole shot, I'll actually hit him inside the capsule. So watch. All right. That was phase two, and the good thing about that is the game doesn't know what to do when you kill a Wily at that point, and it skips the checkpoint to phase three completely, so you don't even see phase three. Guys, this is the last two minutes. I just want to take a moment while the Sun Star appears to I thank Strizer and everybody who have been. Uh, Organizing this has been a lot of fun and everybody who hung out tonight like this is a long run Overnight hours you guys have been champions um, So let's have a good fight to end this It's gonna be a really good time It's gonna be really close to record But this cutscene is too long and just bleeds time so it's gonna be a really good time we're only going to be a few shots away. Here we go. Everything does one damage. Sick first phase. Okay. Come on. One more phase. Here we go. 243 fat. That was the world record before I got my last one. This is a, this is my best marathon run. <laughs> Pretty happy with this despite how things went in the last end. Yeah, so the record is 242.43, so 243 flat is fantastic. Oh, man, guys, it's been three hours already. Thanks for the GG's, everybody. Ahmad, Tubes, Polly, Squid, Colt, Streiser, Mellow, Rainbow, Otter, Not Liquify. Bob, Sham, Soul Sword, Legacia. It was really fun to hang out with you guys. Um, if you if we have a minute, since we probably finished earlier, um, I'll show the ending cutscene a little bit. Zode, M H. Thank you.
Oh no, it won't take that long. I just want to show the last cutscene where um, Mega Man hangs out and it looks like he's drunk and he's had like hasn't shaved and it looks like he's got a ginger beard. <laughs> That's all. It's right after this. <laughs> no, no, I'm not going to use 10. Oh, no. I definitely don't want to waste people's time. I just want to show this little segment here. So check out Mega Man. It looks like he's got the big beard going on. He's like, man, I haven't shaved for like five games. I need to shave. Guys, so this is a great ending song to five games. Uh, I'm gonna throw it over to Sham. Let's hit that 4K goal and let's keep going. I know Strizer's coming up for SMZ3, so uh, if we stay here to encourage him, muster all the strength he can. Sam, back to you.